Hello and welcome to David and Betsy's anti-inflammatory diet. Day 22. How's it going, David? It's great. How are you? I'm fine. I think you have a lot to tell people today. Well, first of all, yes. Um, I want to say that I am an authentic fan. How I does one become an authentic fan? You gain access to Wrigley Field, and some random person gives you this. Nice. Well done. So, um, so yeah. So last night I went to Wrigley Field for a Cubs game, first Cubs game of the year, with a good buddy, and uh, I gotta say I was worried about the game in a way I've never been worried about going to a sporting event. I've what, been to many sporting events. Um, so. Um, friend of mine, so we, we both went, we got down there and we had an opportunity to, um, have an autograph session with a cub. Okay. Which was kind of cool. And this was at 530. So we left our house around after work about four o'clock. We got down there about 529. All right. After parking, we literally pulled wrap and we were just, we didn't know who the autograph session was going to be with. Okay. So had no idea. Okay. A surprise. Surprise. So you're like, well, it could be like a Hall of Famer. It could be somebody, whatever. whatever. So you're, we're like, do we want to go to a restaurant and have dinner or do we want to risk it, get the autograph, and then figure out how to eat inside Ridley Field? Okay. And? So we risked it. A little dice roll. And um, I came home with this incredible autograph photo of my man Pedro Strope. No. Okay. Pedro Strope has had a few good years. He's no Ryan Sandberg. But it was fun to meet him. He was a nice guy. It was great. It was over in five minutes. Okay. So here we so, are. So that was your trade-off for dinner. So now it's 5.40. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be in the ballpark till about 10.30. Okay. I have no calories. And so I begin my walk around the, the ball diamond, like mm -hmm. all the way through. I locate chicken salad. That's literally the only thing that can work in this no flour, no sugar, no omega-6 diet that I am on at this okay. time. And I'm like, it's six that time, and I'm like, I really don't want that. I had a bag of peanuts that I brought in from the outside, and so we sit down, and I start eating some peanuts. I eat about 600 calories worth of peanuts okay. because I was avoiding this chicken salad, but by the fifth inning, I'm like, I just, I'm gonna go get a chicken salad, fine, whatever. Okay. I'll just get a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. I went out to get a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. There were no chicken salads in the entire ballpark. Womp womp. So there was literally nothing to eat. And so, I mean, this, that was the biggest eye-opener. I've had a lot of eye-openers in this, but the biggest eye-opener I've had is that I went to a stadium where there were 40,000 people, and I couldn't eat on this, what I don't think is, it's, it's a restrictive diet, but I don't think of it as being super unreasonable. It's just, just to it's, have it's some unprocessed, healthy, natural food. Exactly. Like real food. There was nothing. You couldn't get real food at Wrigley Field is what I you're could, saying. I they could. didn't have real food there. They didn't have real food. They, they had, there was... Processed food. Processed food, yeah. Apparently there was one place where they had fresh fruit, but I didn't want to go with the cantaloupe, honeydew melon oh, thing yeah. again yeah, for $12 or whatever it is. Right. That wasn't going to work. So I couldn't find it. Now, maybe somebody out there that, that knows some special little restaurant in Wrigley Field see it, but I went and saw every vendor. single vendor. Okay. And uh, it was very disappointing. Yeah. And so afterwards, the game, of course, was the highest scoring game in, of the year, so it took three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I stopped at Jewel, mm -hmm. got myself a banana, a plum, mm -hmm. and uh, a box of Cheerios, and I ate half of it on the way home. And thus, we have a lot of Brutal. Cheerios. Thank God for Cheerios. Yeah. And fruit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, so that was very disappointing. Okay. And that's where I'm at. Where are you at? Well, it was way in day because it's Thursday. It's the start of the. Th oh, yeah, I forgot week. about that. I was talking about Wrigley. Yeah. So, where are you at? No change. For the month, you are what? I actually went up one. So, you know, weight can fluctuate two, three, even four pounds on any given day, depending on your bathroom needs. So from the start, I've gone down one and a half and back up one. So I'm kind of net negative 0.5, or as I like to say, nothing meaningful. 
I'm down seven and a half pounds in three weeks. That's more than me. That's a lot. Um, but you're also not eating. Not eating nearly as much as I'd like. Right. But I do know that uh, tonight, Betsy um, in, uh, introduced me to this. Which again is a processed thing, but it's real whole food. And we happen to have a whole box of those left over from the spring tennis season. Oh, that's this was from this from one. This your one mom who donated all the snacks. Thanks, mom. Yeah, there was a snack. Thing. This this one box happened to be sitting in the car, and there you go. So I guess I'm gonna thank you to the tennis team. Uh, I, nobody you know. nobody wanted those, and now I'm gonna dominate those over the next four or five days. Yep, even though they contain almonds and cashews. Oh, best almonds and cashews I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I think delicious. that's a really important thing for you to mention. I don't eat those. So you had some beliefs in your head about things you didn't didn't eat, and you've had to you've had some of those feelings and beliefs challenged. Mm -hmm. Okay. More on that tomorrow. But all right, I have more I could say. You do too. We'll Come do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. I think that in addition to updating weight, we should be updating our progress, and you think you feel a little better. I do. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, but we really should have talked about it today. So I, I also have to admit that my aches and pains are decreasing, and we will talk more about that tomorrow. Good night. Bye.